Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video, we're gonna do a, uh, um, I was gonna say highlighter, sorry. It is a powder declutter. Um, there are some items in here that I love, but there's some stuff that I'm just like, mm, so it's time to go ahead and let them go. Um, if you like declutter videos, please keep on watching. This will be, uh, hopefully this will be the first of many declutter videos um subscribe please make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel now let's go ahead and get into it um i think i'm gonna go ahead and start with my finishing powders most of them are right over here um there are a few that i just don't really like and there's quite a bit that i do really like uh the girl on me two reds this was in my everyday makeup drawer and i just said it put it in here i love this thing so this one is definitely gonna stay um this milani prep and glow prep set and glow illuminating transparent powder i really do not like this guy so much um i, I just don't i don't reach for it or i don't feel like i want to use it as much as some of the other powders like if i were to pick a powder be like oh i really want to use this it's not one so i'm gonna go ahead and let that one go um ones that i just love and i i just always want to reach for would be like the laura mercier candle glow powders um this is in the shade one this is in the shade two i have one in <laughs> well you know one that's good for me for the summertime one that's good for me for the winter time i reach for these a lot more than i would reach for this one and the same with this hourglass one i would reach for this guy a little bit more so let me go ahead and put this guy in here because i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this this is by bare minerals and this is the invisible glow powder highlighter and this is in the shade medium um i think this is supposed to be just like a highlighter not a finishing powder i do not like it as a highlighter and i don't like it as a finishing powder so i tried with it it's time to let it go i'm gonna go ahead and clutter that one um some other finishing powders that i have i do have the jacqueline cosmetics sorry i tried to film this earlier and there um there was a mishap with one of my powders and it got everywhere um this is the jacqueline cosmetics brighten up powder the shade is brighten up and this is the luminous powder i do like this guy um this is by laura mercier the translucent glow i really like this one this is newer to me i swatched it today and i was really impressed with it but i haven't used it on my face yet this is by belief beauty um, the Radiant Glow Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the Gold Pearl. It, it's not as deep as it looks in here, so I was kind of scared, so I opened it, but I can't wait to play with it. It looks like it would be promising. Um, and this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in the Illuminating Mineral Veil. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's a decent one, so I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it just to get some more use out of it. Um, I think that is it for finishing powders. My girl, I'm just going to put Put it away or maybe if i make some room it will go in here um let's go ahead and talk about maybe we'll do pressed and then we'll leave the loose uh, there's a lot of loose powders so uh for pressed powders um one that i know that i just kind of it's time to really really let it go is uh this covergirl vitalist healthy powder and this is in the shade 725 buff beige i just wish i had it or i could find it in a lighter shade this is a little bit too deep for me i'm gonna go ahead and let it go it's a little bit older i can't find it anywhere so it's a bummer i'm just gonna let that one go um these i do really like okay for um there i have this pressed one this is uh, by elf this is the matte blotting powder um, i don't really use blotting powders I, I feel like i can definitely see the ring in here i'm so close to hitting pan in this um but i haven't been really reaching for blotting powders um, or matte blotting powders for that you know i i just i'm not i'm not reaching for them my skin is not as oily as it used to be it's actually more like normal to even dry so i don't really need a blotting powder a matte blotting powder i'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go it is a pretty good powder though i would recommend that one um over like this milani or you know for, for what it is it's a pretty good powder maybe i should go through these tell you what they are see if there's one that i find that i just don't like um this is by dior this is the powder no powder face and body i do really like this guy you can't even tell that you're wearing powder i do really enjoy it it sits here in here because it doesn't fit here um the other powder that i have this is by flower beauty this is the light illusion perfecting powder this is pretty nice again i wish i had the lighter shade but i can make this one work it's not as deep as the cover girl one 
Um, by NYX, this is the HD Finishing Powder in the banana shade. I love this for my under eye area or under my eye area. Um, from Sephora, this is the Micro Smooth and this is in the shade Medium. This is a good powder for me in the summertime. I actually really enjoyed it after I tried it during the last uh, Sephora sale. Um, I do really like these. I usually use the lighter one for under my eye area and the deeper one all over my face. These are by Cover Gold, the Clean Fresh Powder. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to both shades. Um, by Kosas, I love this guy. This is the cloud set in the shade is feathery. It's just, you can't even tell that you have any powder on. I really, really like this one. Um, this was a really uh, surprising powder for me. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And this is the Prince Collection. I never tried it before until this like was half off and I picked it up. I actually really liked it. Um, so I was happily surprised that i discovered one um, that i like this is by basame and this is agent carter oh i love this thing um I, I love the packaging of it for number one and number two i just i don't know i just love this compact i love the shade i don't want to use it because their products are limited editions but yeah you know or you know like this was a limited edition thing um I don't want to use it up. By MAC, this is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade is Medium. Um, I tried this as a uh, finishing powder and I hated it, but as a setting powder, I really like it. I purchased it because I was watching somebody and she recommended it as a finishing powder. Do not recommend that. Uh, by Too Faced, this is its banana setting powder in the banana cream shade. This is decent. I think um, I like the uh, the one by uh, NYX better, but I actually like this product. It just I like the NYX one a little bit better. <laughs> um, so there is that one. I, I am still going to go ahead and hold on to it because, you know, it works um wow okay now i have a big gap here is this gonna fit in here now no sideways okay it is what it is um i do have this guy this is by maybelline this is the super stay butter skin um this is in the shade 20 classic ivory i know this is old but this i love this powder i love it so much so i am gonna go ahead and hold on to it perfect look at that that is perfect okay uh, now let's do loose powders. This was a pressed powder. I just repurposed the packaging. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. I love it. I'm actually thinking about repurchasing one that's not shattered. So I really like that one by Huda Beauty. This is Found Cake Amazing Powder by Collab. Um, this is Set the Stage Ultra Fine Powder. Really, really like that one. Uh, by Too Faced, this is that mattifying powder, the peach one. Um, I can tolerate this one, actually, because I use it as a setting powder, not like blotting all over today. And I don't think that it actually really mattifies enough that my oils don't come through. Um, I have Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, uh, Better Not Bitter in the yellow shade. I really like this one. I have the little one by uh, La Prairie. The big size is on my vanity. It doesn't fit here. I love this, guys. So it's not going anywhere. Uh, Laura Mercier, the original translucent powder, really enjoy it all over the face by Derma Blend. This is the illuminating banana powder. I love this guy under my eye area and highlighting my face. It's a beautiful powder. Um, now the original one, I don't really like. I'm gonna go ahead and let go. Um, I, I don't like it. Uh, by Nikia Joy, this is uh, what's the velvet finishing powder. Ooh, this is beautiful, you guys. If you want that airbrush look. I love this powder with either a sponge or a brush, like using it to set the face. Stunning, really beautiful. And then the other two by Haley's Beauty, and this is the Elf Halo. Haley's Beauty one um, is really, really nice too. It's not as blurring as the Nikia Joy, but a really beautiful powder. Um, I would recommend that one too. Um, Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Fast. This is a beautiful powder. Let's see, can it fit here now that I got rid of another one? It can, but it can't be back here. That's all right. Oy. Here we go. 
Okay, and then this guy, this big daddy, doesn't fit anywhere. It's impossible. Um, the Anastasia loose setting powder and vanilla, really pretty powder. I do really like it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it in here. Um, this Maybelline Fit Me loose powders, I don't like them. One of them is not even open. Like this guy still has the seal on it, but I just... I, I used this one and I didn't like it, so I'm like, I don't need to open the lighter one. I feel like this mattifies my skin way too much. Like, mm, I didn't really enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I wish I could put, maybe I'll put here. Um, let's go ahead and grab this last section. Well, let's start with these two. I have the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder, and this is in the Brighton shade. I really like this. I had panned one of these previously, so I just recently picked up, um, you know, a, a, a backup of it. And I picked up this yellow one or banana one too, because I'm like, I really like this. Um, it was recommended for medium to dark uh, skin tone, but I still picked it up. It's too yellow. Um, I, I hadn't used it until like, again, I tried, told you I tried to uh, film this video and then powder went everywhere. It was this one. It's still sealed, but it, it's, oh gosh, I did it again. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I'm going to declutter it. Not because of that, but because it's way too dark. Okay, more powders back here. And I don't think I, I'm going to keep either of these two. Um, this is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Actually, maybe I need to keep this one. It's been way too long since I used it, so I don't remember. I'll keep this guy, and it's in the translucent shade. But this one, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I don't like those white powders, and that's why I got rid of that Derma Blend. I just feel like they don't really mesh with my skin tone really well. I can still see them on my skin. Um, this is by Ciate London Everyday Vacay. I feel bad because my friend sent me this, but I really don't like it. I'm sorry. This is very unusual for me to not like something a friend sends me but yeah that one just did not work out for me um i guess i don't now i'll have the space for this guy here but it needs to go in my everyday door where it was um by besame this is the brightening violet powder and translucent really like this one i'm so disappointed they discontinued or got rid of these um by elf this is like under eye powder in the banana shade i really like this one um this one is also targeted for deep tones but it's not as dark as the aoa like if if you are deeper skin tone and having a hard time finding your correct shade check out the aoa is really like actually banana um this one is not I, I mean i can use it and i'm like on the light lighter skin tone scale by Hourglass, I really like this guy. I should try and finish it this year. Um, the Kat Von D one, I'm just waiting for a pan to open up one of my other pans or something so I can dump this in it. Um, the same thing with this Hourglass. It's just so hard to pick up like that. And this is the Bare Minerals Concealer in the Well Rested Shade Beautiful Under Eye Powder. I use it after setting my under eye. So there we have it. These are all of the powders and let me see if I can make these work in here. I can make them fit. Okay, this is going to my everyday door. This is going to my everyday door. And I had one of these in there, the deeper one, this guy. Okay, the ones I'm getting rid of are these. Um, AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in the banana shade. It's just too yellow for me personally, but I think it's a beautiful powder. Like, I love that Brighton shade. Two of the Maybelline Fit Me, one in the shade 05 Fair and one in the shade 10 Fair Light. Um, Ciate London uh, Vacay, Everyday Vacay Powder and Derma Blend Blue Setting Powder, the original shade. Um, I'm getting rid of these two. This is... Ooh, flying uh the milani prep set and glow bare minerals invisible glow i was using these as a finishing powder as finishing powders and i'm getting rid of the elf matte matte, uh, matte blotting powder and the cover girl vitalist healthy powder i did just not the right shade for me and i don't need a matte powder like blotting powder so this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up um let me know if you would be interested in seeing more of these i just did this one because again i i was doing you know my inventory and i came across all of these and i'm like i don't like them so um yeah this is it for me today thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye